Hi everyone, this is Frank DeMora with The Last Chronicles of Planet Earth and today is September the 26th, 2011. One of the things that I want to share with you today, because I have limited time today to be able to post, is in many times in my ministry the Lord has really impressed upon my heart to save some material that would be used in the future uh, to keep his sheep safe. Uh, from the deception of, of Satan and of the uh, the powers of this world, if you would. And a long time ago, in 1977, I was given this article that the Lord just made it possible me, for me to have. And he told me, you know, keep this, don't get rid of this, because he just laid it on my heart that in the future you're going to be talking about this. And obviously, because of our generation and the increase of knowledge, that Daniel the prophet was told by God in Daniel 12 4 there's been a lot of things over the past 35 years that have happened uh, because of the increase of knowledge and technology that now would be the, the perfect time to show and to, to instruct people about these events that are coming on specifically I'm going to be talking about events about the Christ that would come these false prophets and these false Christ that would come in the last days and they would be doing uh, as the scriptures tells us we know from Revelation chapter 13 verses uh, 11 through 15 that there was going to be a, a prophet uh, in the same fashion that John the Baptist was preparing the way for Jesus Christ well we would see a or those people who would be left in a tribulation period would see a prophet come up he would be a false prophet and he would be able to have powers and do miracles uh, and he would be pointing the way for the Antichrist so whatever Jesus did we see that Satan's gonna do the same thing so Jesus came as the Messiah Antichrist will come as the Messiah uh, Jesus had a forerunner John the Baptist the Antichrist will also have a forerunner that will be doing according to Revelation doing many miracles and deceiving people so and also when you read in Matthew chapter 24 verse 26 uh, please specifically note this because when you scroll down you're gonna see the articles that pertain to these very specific prophecies and then you're gonna see the videos please mark the times on the videos that I uh, specify because one of these videos I put up yesterday or the day before but I'm gonna tie it in now and it's really important that you watch specifically those time marks on those videos that I marked for you so in Matthew 24 26 it says wherefore if thou sayest unto you behold is he in a desert go forth and behold he's in secret chambers believe it not so Jesus tells us if anybody comes out in the last days and tells you that this Messiah is in these secret chambers or he's in the desert, he specifically told us, don't believe it. Keep that in mind. It's going to be very important when you watch these videos and when you watch the news that I'm going to be presented to you. Also in Thess Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 9 through 11, it says the coming of the lawless one uh, is by the activity of Satan with all power and false signs and wonders and with all wicked deception for those are are perishing because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved therefore God sends them a strong delusion so that they may believe what is false so we know that something is going to happen a strong delusion there's going to be major deceptions in the last days and I believe that it could be in part for the technology that the man uh, with our, you know, the super computers and the things that we can now do that we will never be able to do before. Uh, and you're going to understand more as you watch these videos. So keep these scriptures in mind because when you scroll down, you're going to see if you're at my YouTube channel right now, you're going to be able to go over to my website www.bibleprophecyman.com and when you're there you're going to see an article that says the Christ is now now here this is one of the articles that the Lord just happened to put in my hands and way back in 19 
gospel or in 77 when he told me to start prophesying about these uh, false prophets that would be coming um, then I started to warn everybody now when I say he told me to start prophesying he wanted me to point out what he said, not what I'm saying, because all I'm doing is pointing out the scriptures that Jesus gave to us. And you saw those scriptures as in Revelation and so forth in Matthew. But there was a newspaper that came out, um, headlines that read like this. And you're going to be able to see this when you scroll down at my website. Okay, The Christ is now here. This is a... Uh, really important event that the Share International say that the Christ, their Christ, called the Maitreya, is going to appear throughout the whole world. And you're going to see how he's going to do this, and it's and it's going to be very interesting because when you see the, the videos, uh, you're going to understand, man, they were talking about this in 1982. Uh, and now, all of a sudden, the technology, and we're seeing videos where it's actually, they can do this kind of thing. And uh, you'll, you'll know more about what I'm talking when you watch these videos. But this newspaper article, which is, was a complete page, a whole page, on 14, I believe it was 14 major newspapers around the world saying that this, ant, this Christ is now here. Now, one of the things when you scroll down, you're going to notice that it says this. It says, throughout history, humanity, evolution has been guided by a group of enlightened men, the masters of wisdom. They have remained largely in a remote desert. Remember what Jesus told us? If they tell you he's in a desert, don't go. And mountain places on earth, working mainly through their disciples who live openly in the world. So we're told by Share International that he's been hiding, he's in a desert until the proper time to come out. In other words, they're doing, and according to what the scriptures tell us, they're doing the exact same thing that Jesus said to watch out for and don't believe it when they tell you this. Now, when you scroll down, you're going to see Share International and at the bottom you'll see my little red arrows there and that points out uh, what they say how he's going this Christ when he comes how is he going to uh, manifest himself to all the people and it says this it says this open mission to the world is about to begin as Maitreya himself has said soon now very soon you will see my face and hear my words well how is that going to happen well, we know from the, and I have this also at my website, uh, back in uh, August the 12th of 98, Share International tells you that this, this man, this, when this Christ comes, it says this, and I'm going to quote, it says, everyone will see his face on television and will hear his words, now get this, tele telepathically, in their native language. In other words, somehow, while you're watching TV or you're seeing his image, you're going to hear a message from this man, this supposedly true Messiah, in your head, telepathically coming into your head. Now, please listen to what I'm telling you. And when you scroll down, please, the first video, I want you to pay attention at the 17 mark because there you will see the technology now and it is already here where they can pump words and talk to you in your mind that you will hear by the new technology this is not science fiction this is real technology that they're using today they've already used it uh, and you're going to see for one of the new movies just came out where people were walking down the street and they had this technology pumped out and the people heard this in their head about this uh, scary movie and you're going to see that so please listen to what the Lord is telling us because the Lord has shown us that these things were definitely going to come now I'm saying that it is very possible with the technology and with the the evilness of man they could use this kind of technology uh, to really cause major deceptions or as what God told us 
strong delusion that they would be, believe the lie. Now, we know how Jesus Christ is going to come. It says in the scriptures in Thessalonians, he come out of the cloud with a loud trump. that He's going to sound, sound and he's going to bring the Christians into heaven. And then they're going to escape the seven-year tribulation. And then in Revelation, uh, again, uh, Revelation chapter 1, verse 7, we see that the Lord comes in the clouds, and every eye will see him. That's when he's returning back to earth on the seven-year mark. And in other words, when the seven years of the tribulation is ended, we're at the end of the tribulation, Jesus Christ comes riding down, and everybody will see him. And so if somebody comes up and says, oh, I got this thing in my head, I'm hearing Jesus, and, you know, this is the Messiah, no, don't believe it because you need to understand and sharpen and quicken yourself with God has warned us from the Bible. We know when he's coming, and we know how he's going to come. So please pay attention because I really believe in my heart. Now, with all of the talk about this comet Elenin and the planet X or Nibiru or the dark star that's supposed to be trailing after Elenin. They, these people from Share International and Benjamin Kareen, who is this false prophet man, um, he, they're proclaiming that you'll see signs of the star that will proclaim that he's coming. So it, it's just take it for what it's worth. Do not be deceived. Because millions and millions of people will be deceived, uh, and you know you really need to start sharpening the uh, the instruments that the Lord has given to you for warfare. Put on the helmet of salvation. You, you're going to put on the breastplate. Just arm yourself, as it says in Ephesians, uh, as a soldier in Christ, and uh, and protect yourself and protect your family from these deceptions, which I believe will be coming fairly soon. So, again, pay attention to those videos. Listen to what he says, and listen to what they were telling you back in 1982, because it's identical to what we're seeing today. God bless.